Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to another fabulous week of our English 101 class. Uh, the internet is out of my house again, so we are back in a coffee shop. Good time. Had by all. Uh, this week, we get to finish our reading of Murder on the Orient Express. Fabulous ending to this book. I hope you guys enjoy the twist at the end. Uh, and if you're like Poirot, you may uh, muddle about in the gray moral sludge for a while because it is a tricky ending and Pora has to make a difficult call um, that I think says a lot about humanity and how we understand the world and how we understand each other. Uh, so it's pretty cool. It's a great book. Uh, and then we are going to take a look at our essay. So after you finish reading the book, view the Project One essay prompt rubric and outline recorded lecture video. Um, I cannot stress enough how important this video is. Uh, if you want to be successful on the essay, you have to watch this video. I mean, you might, you could potentially be successful without it, but I seriously break down the entire prompt. I will walk you through the whole outline. I will give you examples of everything. Uh, it's going to be insanely helpful. So please, 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 please watch it. And I know I'm talking to the choir here because uh, if you're one of the people who is watching the announcements videos, you're probably also one of the people who are watching the recorded lectures. So you're doing great work. Way to be awesome. Uh, and then we've got the Murder on the Orient Express thesis worksheet, as this is our first thesis we're writing together. I really want to give um, some feedback before you get too deep into the essay. Uh, so this is a chance for you to kind of show me your ideas, what angle you're arguing, all of that. Uh, check in the modules tab. There is a recorded video on thesis statements, which I think you might find helpful. Uh, and then you're going to work on writing and revising your essay. We are going to have a, our first peer review on the 14th. In this, this is a discussion board kind of setup. So you're going to upload your essay um, as a Word document. And then you are going to review the essay of the person who posts directly after you. And there's a peer review worksheet in the discussion board that you're going to use to guide your feedback. You'll reply to that person, attach that feedback worksheet, um, and give them a little overview of how their essay went, things you think they could improve on, all that good stuff. I know giving feedback can feel very uncomfortable to us because we're like, I don't want to hurt someone's feelings. They know they worked really hard on this, yada, yada, yada. Um, which is great. I'm glad you all have kind heart and are awesome. But that doesn't make our essays any better. Like if you get to get your essay back and it's just like, good job. And then I grade it and it was like a C paper. You're like, oh, I feel chipped. My partner said I did a good job. So I thought I did a good job, right? So the kindest thing you can do from a place of love and friendship is just like rip your partner's essay to shreds. Just like be brutal. Mark everything that feels a little off, even if you don't have like the grammatical terms for it, just say this sentence feels weird, or this doesn't make sense, or how could we say this more clearly, or I don't see how your ideas connect here. Like those are great things to point out to a person because if you point it out, they have a chance to fix it before it comes to me and I grade the essay. So this is a great opportunity to get that meaningful feedback, to get a chance of revision before you turn in the final. You can also take your essay to the CBC Writing Center, either on campus in the T building or online. Um, I think the online one has between a 24 and 48 hour turnaround window. Um, and then whenever you schedule your appointment is when you'll get the feedback uh, at the in-person one. If you go and get feedback from the Writing Center, not only will your essay be better, but you will get extra credit points from me. So just send me an email with that feedback and I will add points to the gradebook for you. You can do this up to three times in the quarter for points. Uh, you can do it more, obviously, for fun, um, but three times for extra credit points. Then you're going to work on revising uh, because the final draft of our essay is due on Monday the 18th, which is coming fast. So from today, you have one week to write a beautiful compare and contrast argument essay about murder on the Orient Express. So do make sure to watch that Project 1 video in the Modules tab. Work on that thesis statement, participate in that peer review, and you should have a lovely draft to turn in on next Monday. And as always, we've got a ton of resources in the modules tab. If you haven't checked them out yet, I would highly recommend doing that. Go into Project One folder. All our recorded lectures are in here. Uh, supporting materials might be helpful, but where you're really going to get the most help for this is the essay subfolder here. Um, 
we've got our recorded lecture on the prompt. We've got a thesis walkthrough video. Both of these I highly recommend watching this week. Watch this one today. Watch this one tomorrow before you do your thesis. Good things will happen. Uh, we've got our rubric so you know exactly how this is going to get graded. We've got our thesis worksheet so you can practice. And we've got an outline that you can follow. So uh, make sure you are using these excellent tools. Um, and the essay should come together pretty well for you. I'm excited to see what you guys create. As always, reach out if you have questions. I'm here to help.